Welcome everyone, this is Quentin from Wicked Journey and today I'm at Knott's Berry Farm. We're in the transitional period between Halloween and the holidays, Christmas especially. Uh, I'm here to try their limited edition turkey bites to see how they taste. It looks like it's more of a full meal than what it was at uh, the Taste of Mary Farm last year. And also I want to check out Cordy's Corner to see if they have any uh, Christmas stuff going on and any artwork that might be happening on in there. And then um, it's also the 70th anniversary of the Calico Saloon. So I don't know if they're doing anything special in there or, or what, but we're gonna go and check that out. So come with me and let's get this day started and we'll go check out all these things and then just have a fun day. All right guys, let's get going. they're gonna have the wood carver back uh, I saw them when we came to the uh, taste of Mary farm so it's gonna have all kinds of uh, displays here and stuff like that to sell so it'd be really interesting so this is kind of like the transition of this very cool uh, and over here by the water you know it's all clean they took up all the pumpkins which I kind of thought they might have you know, would have left them there. But just kind of curious what they're gonna put here now. Very interesting. All right, for our first item of the day, we're headed towards the Wilderness Broiler and they have the turkey bites. And I'm gonna try those. It's a limited edition, so it's only here for a limited time. Uh, I believe it started last week on the 1st and it's going through, I believe, the 14th. So it's only here for two weeks. All right, let's go uh, get those turkey bites. Okay guys, here we have it. This is it. This is the turkey bites, limited edition from the Wilderness Broiler. And it looks delicious. Get prepared this time. All right. So what I want to show you is cut it open so this is what it looks like inside. So you can see the cranberry um, has the turkey, probably has some stuffing in there. Looks really good. And this is how they usually come out, just round. All right, and it also comes with a uh, dipping sauce. I believe it's like uh, cranberry. So I get that without spilling it. I've had these at the, uh, the Taste of Mary Farm last year, and they were excellent, but all you got was the um, turkey bites and the Brussels sprouts. Both were like super good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this, cut it a little bit, Go ahead and uh, dip it in the sauce here. So I can get a shot of that. Just dip it in the sauce here. Okay. <laughs> oh man. This is excellent. Very flavorful. And basically it tastes like a, a turkey dinner with all the fixing inside one complete unit. Very tasty, very good. I'm gonna try it without the sauce, see how it tastes. Mm. 
just as good. Next up we have the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Goes right, right there. Those are really good. Very smooth. I guess they're the um, the red potatoes. And it's not like they're they're blended up to be like really smooth and creamy. You know, they have some lumps in it where you can taste some of the potato, which which is really good. I like it like that. I don't like it like too smooth. Mm. The gravy is really good. It's not too salty. Ah, very good, very tasty. And then the last one is the Brussels sprouts. That's it right there. Mm. I have to say, I, I love Brussels sprouts. I used to eat them as a kid, which was unusual. Kids don't like vegetables. But the way Knott's did this is very good. I'm not sure what sauce they use on it. The ones last year was like a vinaigrette and it tasted really good. These still have like a nice little crunch to it. They're also soft. So it's not like they're overcooked and mushy. You can taste some of the almonds in there because they have like almond slivers. Let's see if I can find one. I think I ate the only two that I had, I'm sorry. I might have to come back next time and get another one to show you guys. No, I'm just but it is really good. Everything on here is really good. Very flavorful, very tasty. And uh, I'd rate them a five Q's out of five. Um, you just can't beat these. I mean, you got the, like a, basically a turkey dinner here all rolled up in a nice little crunchy ball, which the outside crust, I think it's like a, a panko type crust. Very crunchy. It, it's cooked to perfection. So, I really enjoy these. I think you guys will too. So, this is a limited time. It started on November 1st and it's going all the way to November 14th. It's at the Wilderness Broiler and it's under their special limited edition. It'll say Taste of Knots Turkey Bites. And it is part of the meal plan. So, if you have a meal plan, this is basically free. So, all right, guys, on to the next one. All right, that was a very, very tasty meal. Um, I would be willing to wait another four hours to uh, get that again. That was nice. Uh, very tender, crunchy, flavorful. Nothing was overpower overpowering. Everything was all blended well, but it did <laughs> fill up the belly. All right, so we're, we're just gonna like wander around, look at some of the ambiance. Uh, I wanna head over to uh, Cordy's Corner and see if there's anything new there. Uh, maybe they might have some uh, artwork up or maybe some new merchandise, I don't know. But we're gonna go check that out and I don't know, see if there's anything new or they could have it closed off, which is uh, what I've seen before. And uh, you know, see what they have. All right, let's head out to Cordy's Corner. Okay, we're gonna go into uh, Cordy's Corner and see if they have anything Christmassy and uh, check it out. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna have any of the artwork, but we'll have to find out. So, let's head inside. All right, look what we got here. It is the 70th anniversary of the Calico Saloon. And that is going for $24.99. the bottles here. Oh look, and if you're trying to make your beer last a little bit longer. And look at what we got here. It's Notopoly. And this is what it looks like on the back. So this is a not Ghost Town version of Monopoly. 
Very good. Look, look at all the. You got the cactus. You got the cowboy boot. Locomotive. Do a poisonberry. Cowboy hat. And a boysenberry pie. And this is going for $29.95. So it's a limited edition, so I don't know how long it's gonna be here, guys. So if you wanna get yours, it's at Cordy's Corner. Well, they have some uh, Not Mary Farm shirts. Let's see if I can find a tag here. Wow, that's pretty nice. $12.99? Material feels a little bit thin. But I mean, that's not bad, what you're getting for that price. And of course, they got the mask. Uh, those are going for $9.99. And there are one size. Those are the adult masks. I'm pretty sure somewhere they got the kids masks. But we have the Santa. We have a candy cane. I guess that's the version of an ugly sweater. And then the Elf Squad. And then we have Woodstock in his sweater. And then Snoopy in his. Okay, well, they didn't really have too much in uh, Christmas, so they had a couple of shirts. That was about it. They also had the uh, 70th anniversary of um, the Calico Saloon, which, uh, you know, it was about $25 for the shirt, pretty nice. But uh, they are in transitioning on some of the holiday stuff, so I don't know if you can see some of this. The fountain right now is just a fountain, so they gotta probably decorate that. I'm not sure what type of uh, decoration they're gonna put up on there, but we'll have to find out. But, uh, no, everything's just like in limbo on tran uh, transitioning from Halloween to Christmas. So it's, I mean, they're actually getting it up pretty fast. So it's it's not it's not slow by any means. Like, see if I can get it here. Johnny Rockets. They already got Christmas trees up. Look at that, right there. So that's gotta be lit up pretty soon because it gets darker soon now. So that's pretty nice. So you don't have to stay out too too late to catch all that. So it, you know, everything's going at a good pace. So um, let's see what else we can find. Oh, look at all the decorations here, guys. This is Berry Tales. Looks very nice. And you know, purple's my favorite color. One of them, besides blue. They changed it back. It is no longer the, what would they call it? The, the Calico Candy Mine? It is now just the uh, Calico Mine Company. And we head out off to Fiesta Village. And they got some of the decorations up for Christmas. Nice. Oh, look at all that. Very cool. Oh, it's kind of feeling like Christmas, guys. Those lights. Oh, well, see if I'm here long enough to see them all lit up, if they light them up. All right, just to kind of focus in on this uh, behind me they have a stage now that that they're uh, doing their Christmas stuff so I guess it's part of like a meet and greet or it could be a show they might start having shows here again uh, it'd be kind of interesting kind of nice too you know kind of sit down and watch characters go at it we'll see um, I'm gonna try to cover that best I can so but yeah that's that's a nice setup hey <laughs> Christmas is coming guys are you ready for the holidays
Okay, we're here at the uh, Calico Saloon and they're supposed to be celebrating their 70th anniversary. So I think the celebration is basically just merchandise. Uh, I did walk in there a little bit earlier and uh, to see if there was like any maybe special 70th anniversary drinks, but I didn't see anything. But I have to admit, sometimes um, when you come here, they'll only do some of these special things on the weekend, let's say like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm here on a Tuesday, so they might not have anything. Um, but it is interesting to just keep tabs on it and just see, you know, if they're gonna do anything. Cause it could still be early, it could still be, you know, maybe they're gonna start celebrating next week when they kinda uh, open up for the holidays on the 19th. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll keep checking on it and find out if there's anything new going on besides merchandise. Okay, we're in the uh, general store and they have their t-shirts here. And hats. And the hats are going for $24.99. And this mug looks pretty nice. So there's the front. There's the back. And that's going for $19.99. Not a bad price. Monopoly game. And you have your uh, Traveler's mug. That's going for $24.99. So it's got like a nice new cream insulation here. When are we gonna add the And then these are the shirts that shows 2021 for Christmas. You have Whittles, Brutus, Catawampus, and I'm gonna guess that's Sad Eye Joe. And the shirt's going for $19.99. They also have the long sleeve version. Okay, and then that one's going for $29.99. And then they also have a pullover that says Knott's Mary Farm. And that's going for $39.99. Very lightweight. It's a good color though. All right guys, I just want to catch this transition here where you got, you're in between Halloween and Christmas. So you can see the Christmas garlands up here or the wreaths. And then way in the back, you see the uh, organist playing that was here for uh, Halloween. So um, probably, probably by tomorrow, it'll probably be gone. So like I said, most of the Halloween stuff is gone. So we're, we're going into Christmas and the holidays. So nice transition. So, all right, I <laughs> just wanted to show you that. All right, everyone, that about does it for today. Um, everything's just all in the transition. And so we're, we're seeing a little bit of Halloween, which I did take a shot of uh, the hotel, which they still have the organ up there. And then uh, you see a lot of Christmas decorations going up, but most of the Halloween stuff is gone. Uh, so like right behind me here, you see some gifts and presents with uh, a couple of my friends here. Let's see. All right. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate everything that you do. And uh, you know what? We're just gonna keep going and moving on. But, uh, you know, that turkey dinner, oh God, that was so good, very tasty. Uh, I just can't recommend that, you know, anymore. It, it's just such a good meal. Everything was well blended and mixed. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And then until, until the next time, till I take you to another wicked place. Thanks for watching, guys.